May 6th is right around the corner. This is the instrument of violence that I have been given in the very first round against an up-and-comer from North Carolina by the name of Colt 45. Our implements of violence are what stands before me, a pallet, pallets of pain. In the first round for the second annual Survival of the Sickest on Saturday night, May 6th, when All Point Wrestling returns to the Kevin Hogan Memorial Hall. Last year, I went to the finals. I was this close. But low life Louis Ramos was the better man, and he held that trophy at the end of the night high with his son in the ring. A moment will last forever that everyone will remember forever in the annals of All Point Wrestling history. I was this close. Colt 45. You're now in my way. I know you're an up and coming kid and you're trying to prove yourself against the most decorated deathmatch superstar walking God's green earth today. Well, look no further, Colt, because you're not going to make it past the first round. You can fight and you can strive all you want, but you ain't knocking down the bulldozer. These pallets of pain, I know, I think, <laughs> we're going to have four of them. I'm going to wrap a pallet in barbed wire. I'm going to wrap a pallet in thumbtacks. Maybe some light tubes, maybe some copper strips, who knows? But it really doesn't matter, does it? Because the inevitable is upon us. Colt 45, I got respect for you, kid. This is a big chance, a big opportunity for you. Coming all the way from the Carolinas to come to Jersey to apply your craft in the deathmatch arts. Well, you're going up against the master. And I'm going to paint a very, very bloody canvas with your blood and guts on May 6th. I'm bringing the pallets and I'm bringing the pain. And you're looking at the next winner of survival of the sickest.